hi everyone um, welcome to my youtube channel today we will talk about another uh, important topic in statistical inference which is uh, called as the methods of evaluating estimators so in statistics uh, we are always finding different kind of estimators using different kind of methods but at the end of the day we need to find the best out of those estimators so in order to find the best estimator out of a set of estimators we should have a set of ways to evaluate those estimators so in this video uh, we will discuss a uh, one method of evaluating the estimators so the method that we are going to discuss in this video we called as the mean squared error or msc so this is the first usually the simplest method that we can use to evaluate an estimator so let's discuss about the definition of a mean squared error so uh, we called the mean squared error of an estimator w of parameter theta as the uh, expected value of the second central moment of that estimator or in other words we need to find uh, the expectation of w minus theta to the power uh, 2 okay so it can be short that this will be equal to this expected value is equal to the variance of that estimator plus uh, the second term you can see that which is co uh, which is equal to the uh, expected value of that estimator minus theta to the power 2 so uh, this second term we called as the squared bias of that estimator so this is the formula of finding the mean squared error of a particular estimator so so our goal is to find the estimator with the minimal msc that means if we want to evaluate our uh, estimators based on the msc then we need to find the estimator that has the minimal msc so you can see that based on this equation here if an estimator is an unbiased estimator of the parameter theta then uh, the thing which is inside this uh, square term will be equal to zero because if an estimator is an unbiased estimator uh, of a parameter theta then the, the bias term will goes to zero so based on that logic we can argue that uh, we can argue that uh, unbiased estimators are reasonable based on msc because you can see that uh, for an unbiased estimators uh, that second term will goes to zero but there is no guarantee that control in bias will control msc because you might have heard a term called uh, the bias variance trade-off so based on that concept we cannot guarantee that control in bias will control msc a typical example for that is this so let's say we have an uh, where a random variable which is normally distributed with mean mu and the variance of sigma squared so in this case uh, it can be short that this s squared the estimator over here is an unbiased estimator of the sigma squared so in that case the msc of the of that estimator is equal to uh, the variance of the s squared uh, it can be shown that the variance of the s squared is equal to 2 times sigma to the power 4 divided by n minus 1 but we can find an a bias estimator of this uh, sigma squared such that this uh, msc of that uh, n minus 1 uh, times s squared divided by n uh, the msc of this estimator is smaller than the msc of this s squared so in other words uh, in this particular example we can show that there is a bias estimator of uh, sigma squared which has lower msc than the unbiased estimator of sigma squared which is s squared so 
Based on that, we can say that there is no guarantee that controlling bias will control the MSC. So, in most of the situations, this MSC is not a good, uh, so a good way of uh, uh, evaluating estimators. So, later in the next video, I am going to talk uh, talk about another uh, technique that we can use uh, to evaluate an estimator. So if you think this video is useful to you, uh, please, up, uh, please uh, put a thumbs up to my video and if you want to follow more uh, information things in statistical inference, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.